I mean, you know, if it resonates, hopefully. If you need a private reading, as this is general, all my info is below where you can go book your reading. The holiday special is, how do they feel? How do they feel, Taurus? How do they feel? All right, let's see what's coming in. 12th through the 18th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's up? We're going to cut this bad bitch of a deck, and we're going to go ahead. We're going to regroup it, and we're going to get going. Mom here is feeling pretty damn good. How are you? All right, let's see what's going on. Coming into the current moment. What do we have? Oh, hi. Take my effing cup. No, you take my cup, says the two of cups. Two people offering a cup. Emotion. It's a relationship. All right. It doesn't always have to be. No. Depends on how this resonates for you guys. But it's offering of emotion and seeing eye to eye. It could be a soulmate for all we know. We're going to find out. What's the challenge to the two of cups? It's the seven of swords in reverse. Hmm, somebody's feeling guilty. Returning to the scene of the crime, perhaps. We're going to find out. What's on your mind, Taurus? What's going on? The Nine of Pentacles. Well, look at you. There's your energy. I mean, Taurus, she has a bird on her hand. What more could we ask for? This is all about being independent and single and feeling good, right? Money's good. Your environment's good. You're taking care of yourself. It's very confident energy. It is. Some of you are just being single right now. You are. Now, in the recent past, what happened? We had judgment. So it could have been uh, scorpionic energy. could have been a second chance or some sort of very important decision. The judgment could kind of be that energy of release, right? It's taking stock of the past. Rising from the ashes. Maybe there was a second chance. We'll see. What's the reason for the reading? The five of wands. Drama, disputes, arguments. You know, five is a challenging number. Maybe competition or just inner conflict. And it has something to do with a very strong connection. All right. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The two of swords, Libra and energy, another two. So we have two twos right next to each other. This is all about making decisions, right? Partnerships. But with that two of swords, you're either ignoring someone, they're ignoring you, and it's because of drama and disputes, not being on the same page, some sort of argument or something like that, or competition. What are you doing right now? The five of pentacles. Well, okay, Taurus. Okay, I get it. All right, it's cold outside. Leaving somebody out in the cold, shutting someone out, ignoring someone. Maybe you're not returning text messages. That's your energy. You feel, you feel shut out or you're shutting somebody out. What are they doing? Well, they're taking a big fat break too with the four of swords, more Libra energy. There's a lot of like not doing much here. And it's interesting because it's a strong connection. We'll see what clarifies all this. Something went down. You guys are kind of ignoring each other. You may have had an argument or a fight with somebody here. All right. What's in your emotions, Taurus? It's the seven of cups. Some of you are just keeping your options open. You might be confused a little bit because with the two of swords coming in, that can also be like in two minds. What the fuck do I do? I'm like, la, 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 right? Or you're ignoring someone. What's the outcome? You have, ooh, ooh, somebody has love coming in with the knight of cups. It's a love offer. Sometimes the Knight of Cups for me is somebody you're already dealing with. Maybe they're going to come in and communicate, apologize for something. Because what's influencing this is somebody got caught with their hand in another cookie jar. Perhaps. Perhaps. All right. Let's not jump to conclusions quite yet, says Mom. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. So some burdens, right? Somebody is worried, guilty, feeling the burden of the whole situation. All right. Let's see what the hell's going on. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's up? What's up? Uh, Y'all like my selfie light? Isn't this shit amazing? <laughs> it makes me look 10 years younger. I think it's pretty badass. Everybody always asks, what do I use for filming? It's called a selfie light. And it's a badass. You can get it on Amazon. It's great. I don't use it for selfies, but I use it for filming because the light's amazing. Very soft light. I like it. Now you know my secrets. Somebody said, left a comment the other day that I look uh, so fake. Well, considering I'm afraid of needles on my face, not a work, not a bit of work done. Not a bit of work done. Jealous much, bitches. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it's the selfie light. It looks amazing. I highly recommend it. My lips are real. My eyes are real. My hair color's not real. If that, you know, makes anybody happy. It's not. I'm a dark blonde. Dish water. All right, Taurus, let's get back to you instead of making it all about me, all right? Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, what's up? 
All right, what's the energy coming in for Taurus? One more shuffle and we're gonna get to it. The reason for the reading though is some sort of argument or disputes. Something happened. Something went down. Did somebody get a plate thrown at their head? I mean, the Five of Wands really isn't that. It's not like the Five of Swords, you know? It's kind of just petty arguments or disputes or drama. We're gonna find out. Why is the Ten of, uh, ten of Wands the overall energy? Why is this here? For Taurus, what is it and what is it now? It's the Two of Wands in reverse. Something is a huge burden. We're gonna complete a cycle here and because of the burden, we're just not taking action. Somebody's not. Two of Wands in reverse is like, yeah, it's another two. So see, we have a lot of choices and decisions. Um, but it's it's sitting on the lawn chair and really not doing anything because it's just too much. There's too much. Coming in right now, you have the Two of Cups. What's this about? The Three of Wands. Hmm, fire. Leo Sag, Aries energy. The Three of Wands. Let's clarify that one more time. What's this Three of Wands about? The Magician. Ooh, Gemini Virgo energy. Somebody might be trying to manifest this connection. It could be somebody that you're on a break from, right? Uh, what are we doing with the magician creating, a, you know, laws of attraction? You have the power and the tools. The three of wands is like seeing what's out there, like getting out there. What's this uh, magician though? What is it? The hanged man in reverse, Pisces energy. I think for some of you guys, you made a, de a decision in the past, something big. And now maybe you're looking for the one and you're out there because <clears throat> that's what the three of wands is. The three of wands is like dating, it's exploring, it's getting out there, manifesting because you've released something else with this uh, hanged man in reverse. Because the situation, or I'm sorry, the challenge is the seven of swords in reverse. Who's this little guy? Who is it? Aquarian energy. Who's the seven of swords in reverse? What is this? The full sign of Aries. Somebody may have been a commitment folk. Because the fool is just kind of young, free, wants to get out there, travel, seek adventures, doesn't necessarily want to be tied down. Maybe somebody discovered that, right? And now, coming into the current moment, we have somebody that's, you know, trying to get out there and find the one. Because there was a judgment call made in the past. What is this, Taurus? What is it? Yeah. I mean, mom can't make this shit up. Death, sign of Scorpio, to end something. Two major arcana, so huge shifts in energy. Somebody made it to some of you, it was a marriage, right? On your mind is the Nine of Pentacles. It's Virgo energy for me. What is this Nine of Pentacles about, Taurus? What is it? The Three of Swords, yeah. You guys had some sort of harsh ending, some pain, right? The Three of Swords, more Libra and energy. But the Three of Swords is, um, you know, it's disappointment. It's hurt. It's pain. It's loss. And so a lot of you are just single right now, or you will be. But the, the Nine of Pentacles is okay because, I mean, she has a bird on her hand. She can buy everybody in the neighborhood a drink if she wants. You know, but there is pain and loss here, which I'm not happy about for you. In the foundation, the reason for the reading is the five of wands. Why? The hierophant. Yeah, there you are. Hey, Taurus. What's up? Uh, yeah. So the reason for the reading is you were on a different page than somebody, and it could have had something to do with marriage, commitment, higher learning, value systems, and beliefs, right? Coming into the near future, you will experience this two of swords. What is it? What is it? It's the two of pentacles. I mean, we have another two. Could we have any more twos in the reading? We probably could, but... Mm. <laughs> Somebody's ignoring their intuition, all right? Or ignoring a person. Again, Libra and energy. And with the two of pentacles, it's like what you're going to experience is having to juggle. There's a lot going on, right? Making a decision. There's decisions coming in, Taurus. You're going to need to make a decision, and the five of wands and it could be a competitive situation some of you guys are out there dating because you're trying to find the one because you've released from something else or they are but there's something coming into the near future where you're going to be like what do i do what do i effing do and there's going to be conflict or there's others at play here so just know that right you could be dealing with somebody who's dating blah 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 coming in or you see yourself right now as you i mean the five of pentacles you're shutting somebody out or you feel left out what's this five of pentacles about strength yeah you're holding back from someone it's probably difficult leo energy but you're gaining that confidence and that strength to just hold back not you're not acting on your impulses you're shutting somebody out what are they doing well kind of the same thing recovery recuperating taking a big fat minute with the four swords why because of the tower yeah scorpio energy y'all had a breakup or somebody did that i'm reading for and now we're taking a break what's this tower energy why why are they doing this 
justice again a lot of libra energy this person again another marriage card but this person feels like they're justified in doing so they need to do this to regain their balance because of disputes and it has something to do with tradition value belief systems marriage commitment i'm just saying you guys were on a different page and your emotions is the seven of cups why the moon Woo! A lot of confusion. You guys are really confused. Really um, honing in on your intuition, but with the moon, Pisces, maybe Cancerian, Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion about what you want. And it doesn't surprise me because coming into the near future, you're going to have a lot of confusion too. What do I do? What do I do? Some of you guys are keeping your options open. You have more than one suitor, right? But there is a specific energy here of somebody that you just were not on the same page with. Now, the outcome has a love offer, the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. What is this? The Queen of Pentacles. Hi, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Typically Capricorn for me, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, some of you have an Earth sign that you're going to get a big fat love offer from. Okay. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? But the Queen of Pentacles is all about a commitment relationship, nurturing, loving, very grounded, very stable energy. Uh, who's this Queen of Pentacles? She bakes cookies and she works nine to five. And she won't throw a plate at your head. What do we have? And we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what that Nine of Wands is. Typically, the Nine of Wands in reverse for me is I've been to hell and back, and I say, screw it. I don't have the fight in me anymore. I give up. What's the Nine of Wands in reverse? The Four of Wands. But the Nine of Wands in reverse can also be letting your guard down. Not so guarded. Not so much of that stranger danger and that fear and that worry because of the four of wands. Some of you guys are going to finally let your guard down. You guys are out there dating. You're trying to find the one. You're ignoring somebody. They're ignoring you. But then you have something else coming in here where you guys might just, just, say, just you know, say, hell, F it. Let's do it. Let's run away to Vegas and pick out China patterns. There's a relationship in the outcome. I'm just saying, yeah, mom just said it. And the ace of cups, new love. Some of you guys have new love coming in and a new relationship and I couldn't be happier. All right. One more, one more card on the ace of cups. And I think that coming into the near future, all this indecision and, and I think that also the five of wands can be competitors. A lot of you are in the mix because you had to decide to end something in the past. And it was again, because of conflict or inner conflict. But the five of wands is like coming into the near future. You have that two of swords because you're going to have to make a decision. But then the outcome shows, you know, somebody finally makes a decision. Uh, give me one more card on this ace of cups. You know, again, time's fluid, right? It may not be by the end of the week that you're running off to Vegas. But a lot of you guys have a commitment and love coming in. And I think it's new love. And look, it's the queen of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So again, with two queens, remember, it's just energy. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. We have earth energy and we have water energy. They could have a mixture of that in their chart, but it's also stability commitment along with that emotion that's being offered here. Okay. And it doesn't surprise me that there's two separate energies showing up because there's a lot of people. You're going to have your choice. It looks like, and I think, yeah, lock it down with somebody. I do want to see real quick what you guys ended in the past. Why is the death card here in the recent past for Taurus? Show me and show me now. Show me now. It's the death card. What is it? What is it? Yeah, the ten of cups in reverse. Some of you guys just didn't want a relationship or you didn't want to get married or you didn't see this as happily ever after. So you had to end something. And it was a big decision. I don't think it was an easy decision. You know, but the Ten of Cups in reverse is just emotionally dissatisfied or it's not kind of seeing that happily ever after with somebody. See, and I felt that earlier, too, in the foundation. Uh, why? What's this Ten of Cups in reverse about? The star could have been an Aquarius, but this is setting your sights on your wishes and your dreams. I want to clarify. I feel like somebody's hopes and wishes were kind of crashed, crumbled here. Yeah. And then the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys just did not want to be tied down or you were dealing with somebody that did not want to be tied down. They wanted to be the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a traveler. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries doesn't have to be. It's just the energy of somebody that's like, mm, I'm not really seeing this or feeling this. I still want to travel. I still want to see other things. I have my sights on other things. This is either you or somebody you were dealing with. But now the outcome is we got new love coming in. Okay, we do. Those of you that are female, you can have earth, uh, well, obviously of earth. 
because uh, it's you, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but you could also have water in your chart too. But remember, that's just energy. All right, there's emotion, but there's also stability. It's mature, it's grounded, it's. <laughs>